One morning in 1907, four young girls got into a boat to experience the beauty of the Lake Erie shoreline. But they got much more than they would ever have dreamed of. Bend an ear and I'll tell you about it. Four young girls out in a boat on a calm morning in Port Ryerson. saw only shoes, stockings, and hair combs on the ground. They knew Erie is shallow, as great lakes go, waves rise up quickly, and strong winds abound. A tug was called up, and search parties combed the shore, calling and crying with grief. All seemed lost to everyone, except one mother who refused to give up her belief. There's no way in God's green earth, she said, that those girls are lost to the waves. So no one quit looking or believing in them till their bodies to lay in their graves. Fifteen-year-old Edna set her back to the towering waves as the water rose in the boat. She got two girls to dip aprons to bail and one to hold the pole to keep them afloat. By midnight they ran up on a bluff and they got the sleepy girls to wade to shore. The dog barked. A house light came on. It was the lighthouse keeper, Mr. Secor. Meanwhile another tug was brought out. The search went on. All energy almost spent searchers pushed on, they had to, remembering the mother's lament. There's no way in God's green earth, she said, that those girls are lost to the waves. So no one quit looking or believing in them till their bodies to lay in their graves. One searcher asked the lighthouse keeper, if he'd seen them, his voice full of dread. Oh yes, said he, we took them in last night and fed them and put them to bed. So ends the story of four brave girls who Erie wasn't able to claim. Many have faced its dangers and haven't come home. These girls lived to test it again. There's no way said one mother that those girls are lost to the waves so I won't quit looking or believing in them till their bodies to lay in their graves four young girls in 1907 on a calm morning in Port Riders Here they are, four brave girls, a couple of days after their incident, posing with their oar. My name is David Wells. This has been a tiny bit of history from a small corner of Norfolk County, Ontario. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.